So our next presenter is Atia Amin. Atia is a second year PhD student in human genetics. She's originally from Bangladesh, where she did her undergraduate studies in microbiology. During this time, she became passionate about doing research that has a direct impact on people's lives, which she continued during her master's at University of South Dakota. Currently, she's interested in interdisciplinary research that bridges the gap between molecular biology and computer science. And her research focuses on finding effective biomarkers for different insect-borne diseases. Besides research, she is passionate about science communication, and she loves playing guitar during her spare time. The title of Atia's talk is, and let's hope I say this correctly, Preventing Leishmanianus Using Exosome. This is Asia, a 15 years old girl living in a small village of Bangladesh. The scars you are seeing at her face, these are actually caused by a parasite which is not only destroying her skin, but also can cause organ failure and even death if remains untreated. The first line of drug she received did not improve her condition at all because the drug was developed more than 60 years ago and the parasite has become resistant to it already. So the only available option now is to repurpose some anti-cancer medication, which is highly expensive and her poor parents cannot afford it. This is not just the story of Asia, but the reality of over 1 billion people who are at risk of Lashmaniasis, a disease you probably never heard of. The reason you might not have heard about this disease is because it's prevalent in some of the poorest countries in the world, especially in Indian and African subcontinents. While growing up in Bangladesh, I myself experienced the frustration of people, especially women, as they face a lot of social stigma because of the scars left by the disease. And the worst is, till this day, people die without proper treatment. So my research is to find a solution for these people. The questions I'm asking is that, how does this parasite become resistant to this drug? And if one parasite become resistant, how does it transfer these resistance mechanisms to the other parasites? To understand these questions, we investigated the communication mechanisms among the parasites. And we found that one of the main ways these parasites communicate with each other is by producing some tiny bubbles called exosomes. So exosomes, these tiny bubbles, carry DNA inside that are used by this parasite to communicate with each other. What we have done is that we extracted exosomes from the resistant and the non-resistant parasite, and I compared the DNA content of the exosome between these two groups, and guess what? I found that one DNA fragment is 26 times highly abundant inside the exosome of the resistant parasite compared to the non-resistant parasite. When I looked into the function of this DNA fragment, I found that it actually carries a gene that is helping the parasite to get rid of the drug and survive the treatment. So, now that we know what gene is present inside the exosome of the resistant parasite, we can now design a new drug that will specifically target this gene to block the transmission of resistance among the parasites. And with this new drug, I want to give hope to the girls like Asia and hopefully prevent Lashmaniasis forever. Thank you. The, the winner, the English winner, first place, is Atia Amin. This was a really tight decision. <laughs> I came in and um, I came into the judges' meeting, and everyone was um, everyone was tabulating the results, and the the margins were very very small. The index and.
the winner, um, the first place, and the People's Choice winner tonight is Atia Amin in Human Genetics at McGill University for preventing leishmaniasis using exosome. Congratulations, Atia. Everyone, I can't, I can't say it often enough. You, you are all such skilled presenters. Thank you. 